Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? Hey dear friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is So. I am so excited for today's video because I am going to show you how my husband and I transform our small laundry room into something cute and functional and definitely budget friendly. If you like this kind of video, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more. Here you're seeing how our laundry room looks like before we fix it. It does have a big shelf that is not functional at all because it was very tall for me to reach and not enough space to hang clothes. Also no storage for laundry detergents and stuff like that. Plus I have this hanging rack that is just sitting on the floor getting in our way every time we get home and walk here. Here my husband is cleaning and getting everything out of the shelf so we can start this project. Our plan is to kind of copy what we did to our laundry closet in our other house but a little bit better hopefully. Which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box below for you to watch after this one. I wanted this room to not just look good but to be completely practical for what my family needs which are hanging rod and hanging racks for our clothes since I hang most of it when I do our laundry. It is also important to have some cabinet storage here to hide those big and bulky laundry detergent bottles so it's not an eyesore. But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. Here I'm recycling this hanging rod that we used to have in our master closet which if you haven't seen that video as well, we just redid our master closet. I will link that in the description box below if you guys are interested to watch it after this one. And yeah, I'm using this hanging rod so I don't have to buy a new one because we don't really have a lot of budget. But I wanted to give this a new look so I'm just using this chalk spray paint in the color charcoal that I picked up from Walmart for like $6-7. It's totally worth it. It's better than buying a new hanging rod because I still have a lot left and I can use this for some other project. We're here again at the same spot where we kissed the first time I swear my pain is far away long gone by now We've got a bottle of tent, it's 5.30 a.m. I also paint this basket that I already have for a long time ago and I just didn't like the color because it's not gonna match with everything that I have in the laundry room. My team is white and gray and black so this color is not matching it so after my husband took down the shelf it did left some damage on the wall so he did fix it and patch it so the color of the patch is pink and once it's dry it's going to be white like this that you're seeing right now so my husband is just gonna sand this and then after that's all done and dry I am going to paint the wall the same color that it already has we did have some paint left over from when we first moved to this house. We bought a lot of paint and I am just going to use the same paint. If you are new here to my channel, hello and welcome! I am so happy you're here. My name is Sel, I'm a wife and a full-time working mommy of one sweet boy. I upload new video every single week about realistic cleaning motivation, satisfying home organization, and a little bit of mom life. I would really love it if you subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family for more videos like this. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. I truly appreciate all your love and support. I will make sure to link the products that we use in this project down in the description box below for you if I can find them so don't forget to check it out if you are interested to know. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh baby, yeah There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise I thought you'd always be mine Oh yeah 
to have cabinet in here so we did pick up the one that we have from Lowe's it was on sale when we got it I think it was like a hundred fifty hundred sixty dollars for the 36 inches and it was really big and this shelf we got it from the Home Depot so was this L bracket that we're using we're putting four two on each um, side and then it's gonna be two in the middle as well so it's not gonna be sagging You'll see here how we're putting it on the wall. It'll be on top of the washer and dryer. So I can put all the laundry detergent and the downy on top of this. Not the big bulky container, but like a little bottle. You'll see it later. And also some display here to make it look a little bit pretty. And yeah, you'll see how we're going to use this. So here, after everything is installed, I really like this bracket because it comes with this cover so that it'll hide all the screws as you see it looks so nice there you go so pretty much everything is done except for this hanging rod and some hanging rack on the bottom later and my husband here is installing this now the hanging rod did get cheap because we dropped this a couple times and the paint, the paint is still fresh so it did chip it but I will go fix that later. You'll see it's not going to have that anymore because yeah I'll fix it. It was super easy to fix. I just put some spray paint on the plate so I don't have to re-paint this or re-spray paint this because it kind of took a while to dry it. So I just put some spray paint on the plate and I used some sponge to touch it up and it did work. To replace the hanging rack that I used to have in this laundry room, the pre-standing one that's just in the middle of the hallway that's always getting in the way, I did pick up this one that you can install on the wall from Amazon. I picked up two of them because like I said we hang most of our clothes so I need a lot of them. I pick up two so that it will be enough every time we do our laundry. And I really like this one because it's on the wall, it's out of the way. And if we're not using it, we can just fold it. And if we are, we just like pull it up like a normal hanging rack. So I really like this one and I really do like the color as well. <laughs> I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you After everything is all done and installed I am so happy how this laundry room transformed My husband and I were not professional whatsoever We just have a little bit of DIY experience from our previous DIYs so 
for the rookies like us, we're not professional. I am so happy how this turned out. And we even changed that garage door that we have. That's why you're noticing the color of that is super, super like stark white. It doesn't match the, the rim or the trim of the door because we couldn't find the same color that used to be here. And the one that used to be here, if you didn't notice, there's a hole in the bottom because the previous owner that used to live here, they do have cats, so they have that cat door. But I'm so glad it's not there anymore because it does get pretty cold in here on the winter time. So brand new door. I am so happy about that. And then also there is that little hole on the floor because when they built this floor, I guess they built it around that shop that used to be here. So that's why that thing is there. And I am really not sure how to fix this right now. So we're just going to leave it like that. It doesn't really bother me as much and i know i'm gonna put some laundry basket there anyway so it's really not gonna be that obvious we still need to fix it obviously somehow but just not today um i don't really have a piece of the floor that i'm gonna put there but i think i'm gonna buy this little piece of wood to put there and kind of like color match it to to fill that hole just so it doesn't look too bad but once again like i said i'm gonna put some laundry basket there so it's not gonna show too much and Nobody's really gonna notice it unless you really look at the floor. So, please let me know in the comments down below which part of this makeover you like, and if you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comments down below.
I hope you find this video motivating and helpful. I hope I inspire you to get up and tackle your own project at home. And if I did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it helps my channel. Comment down below and share this to your friend to inspire them as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It's totally free and turn the notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any more of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching, I truly appreciate you and your time spent with me and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Bye!